today I'm going to uh, paint with straws and at the end I'm going to add a little special touch. Uh, we'll see when we get there. And uh, I will put the colors I've used in the description so this way I can get right into it. So let's do this. So let's get started. When you have an itch in your face, but you can't scratch it. So I think I'm just going to do one last pour and strut it, and then I'm going for the special twist. I do not want to have too much paint on there, and I do not want to kill the details. This will darken quite a lot as it dries. Um, it 
will not the green especially so I want to leave it so some of the details will stay Okay, and now for the special touch. Just going to get rid of those bubbles. I'll need my needles and I'll do that when I get rid of those gloves because everything I'm gonna touch is gonna turn green right now. Okay, the special touch is those paints I mixed uh, with only medium and paint, no water. I, I don't want to, them to bleed uh, in the other colors and I don't want them to be too liquid. I want ni them to have a nice edge and you'll see why. Here we go. That's about what I wanted. I wanted the middle part to really contrast with the background and so that's why I chose those particular colors and it seems like my mix of paint was just right and yeah, I really like that. So now I'm going to get rid of the gloves <laughs> and I'm going to pop the bubbles. I'll just use a straw for the smaller ones. And for the stubborn ones, I use uh, just a a needle and I pop them. It's a bit of a game of patience but I want my canvas to look nice. And that's it for today. It was a simple quick painting, but I think it's going to look very nice once dry, once the green darkens and 
I think it's going to look very good under a black light as well. Um, it's going to contrast under the black light as well because I chose warm colors against cold colors versus uh, well the background versus the the foreground and uh, I think it's going to be very very cool. Um, well, you've probably already seen it. The thumbnail is probably a picture of it under the black light because that's what I do. <laughs> And on that note, I hope you have a great day. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! So this one didn't quite dry as expected. Um, uh, the canvas was warped and I didn't notice it until I was done pouring and my paint started going all on that side. But I think it's important to share our victories as well as our happy accidents. Um, uh, the result is still nice. Uh, what I tried to accomplish here uh, still came out nicely. So I'm going to try this again on a better quality canvas, um, maybe smaller too, so there's less chance of it warping.